Okay, so, one take video again, that will be the state of affairs for the next little while. Um, alright, I have three things to talk about. Three, three, there we go. Um, number one, uh, bullying and anti-bullying legislation. Um, so the use of the word bullying to describe um, homophobic and transphobic incidents, especially the ones that are causing uh, gay kids to kill themselves all over the place lately, um, is wrong. That is not a useful way to describe it. Um, because bullying implies that it's something that only students do, or only kids do. That it's like pulling someone's pigtails, or picking on them for having glasses, or calling them four eyes, or something like that. And it isn't. Homophobia and transphobia is more like racism, um, which is not at all like bullying. Um, and the, the way it manifests in picking on people, that is the same sort of medium as bullying. That's true. But it's not the same as bullying. Bullying is about, you know, personal qualifications or characteristics, or you're a nerd, or you're a... Four Eyes is a good example. Or giving someone a swirly. And, and it's, it's definitely shitty and bad, but it, that's something that in theory goes away when you graduate from high school. Homophobia and transphobia don't go away when you graduate from high school because grown-ups can be homophobic and transphobic. And in fact, the deciding factor in a lot of um, the saddest stories about gay kids is not, you know, my peers picked on me, it's the administration picked on me, and the teachers picked on me, and I didn't have anywhere to go. So, it's not a bullying issue. It's a homophobia and transphobia issue. Duh. Um, I think that should be obvious, but apparently not, because it's been repurposed in the sort of the It Gets Better campaign and all the anti-bullying, you know, windbags. It's become like, oh, we, we want to make sure the kids aren't being too mean to each other. It's like, it's not the kids' fault! I mean, the kids are being mean to each other, granted, and they shouldn't be, granted. But the, dis the biggest problem is that grown-ups are being mean to kids. The teachers are picking on children. And if you're, you know, in your 40s and being mean to a 14-year-old, do you have nothing better to do with your life? But that's because of homophobia and transphobia, which are forces that affect people beyond kids. Grown-ups can be homophobic and transphobic. Kids grow up hearing, you know, preachers, mommy and daddy, the television say, gay people are sinners, gay people are awful, trans people are freaks, Chaz Bono is a woman mutilating herself. They hear that from grown-ups. They don't hear that from fellow 14-year-olds. They hear that from 50-year-olds you know, and 30-year-olds and fucking old people. And those people then go and tell the universe about how sad they are about bullying. It's like, bullshit. You're sad about bullying. You're sad, you know, your son got called a four eyes. You know, my parents were almost sad their kid killed himself because he didn't have anywhere to turn. Okay. It is not the same as bullying, because bullying is not something grown-ups do to children. Homophobia and transphobia is something grown-ups use to oppress children with. So this whole it gets better bullying crap needs to be knocked off. You want to fight homophobia and transphobia in schools? Phrase it like that! We want safe schools for our gay and trans, and possibly gay and possibly trans, we want safe schools for our kids to not be affected by homophobia and transphobia the same way we want schools where our kids are not affected by racism. There. Done. Bullying does not need to be mentioned. Bullying is a separate thing. Bullying should already be encompassed in, you know, the no punching people rule, and the no calling people mean names rule, which all of which we have, and the no sticking people's head in the toilet rule. All of these things are already covered in school rules. But homophobia and transphobia weren't, should have been, they should have been in the, you know, you may not actually act like an asshole to everybody in your school rule. That is actually a rule. Um, but they weren't, because homophobia and transphobia are so pervasive in our society that we think it's not the same. So, sort of a circular argument. It is actually kind of the same as bullying, but calling it bullying implies that it's something that grown-ups don't do, and that's completely wrong. So, I think we should stop calling it bullying, because that's not a productive way to have this sort of discussion, even though it is technically a correct way to talk about it. Um, I think it's called homophobia and transphobia. Mm. Um, what, what annoys me about the, the sort of anti-bullying rhetoric, and especially the It Gets Better project, was, it, was a lot of grown-ups patting themselves on the back about how they're grown-ups and they don't do that. It's like, well, maybe you don't do that, but lots of grown-ups do that. And that's the biggest problem, is that, you know, the kids don't... The kids being oppressed don't have anywhere to turn for help. 
because the grown-ups will oppress them too. It was the principal who wouldn't let the GSA start in that school. It was, you know, even for me, it was the administration and the counseling staff, not students. Kids can be assholes to each other, but kids can't be assholes nearly on the scale that grown-ups can be assholes, especially when being grown-ups are being assholes to children. And if you want to be an asshole to a child, perhaps you need a career not in the school system. Okay, end of that rant. Um, second thing. Second thing. I cannot figure out this damn camera. Um, my voice has dropped quite a lot, which I learned uh, singing in church, weirdly enough. Um, I can't sing for shit. Um, but now I can't even, like, sort of pretend to carry a tune. Now I croak. So that was an exciting thing to learn at church. Um, and I was trying not to draw attention to myself. Which is hard when you go like, eh, yes. Anyway, um, third thing. Third thing. There we go. Um, I have to go see my father's family for Thanksgiving this year, and I don't want to because they are always on about my father's daughter and Sydney how is she doing and I'm like bitch I have been a dude for five years I have told you every time she is not the appropriate pronoun I am not anybody's daughter I don't see what's so difficult about this every time they're, they're all, the sad part is they're all totally understanding about the trans thing they all I like they've never squawked about it they never like well you should really be a girl they've been okay I'm glad yeah we accept you we're great and it's like then get my fucking pronoun right. Never. Yeah, always the pronoun. They just can't figure out the fucking words, which is even more frustrating, somehow. Okay. That's the condensed version of my God, I don't want to go see my family rant. Um, and I really feel sort of silly ranting about that when there are many people who can't get to go to see their family because their families decided they're you know, sinners and awful. And I shouldn't bitch about pronoun mistakes when there are people who don't even get to go see their family because their family has disowned them. So, apologies for my bitchiness. Um, that said, it is really how I feel. So I don't apologize for feeling that way. I do, however, acknowledge the perspective necessary. That was a sensible sentence in my head. I do acknowledge that I do not have the worst of many trans people ever. Um, so, um, that's my extremely quick and dirty video update. Um, Eventually I'll figure out this one take strange camera where I can't see my hands thing. And that's all I got, internet. <laughs>